do you think we're going to see a point where the UAE, which imports most of its foodstuffs, becomes self-sustaining? Look, I'm always careful with the, the word self-sufficiency uh, because food security is all about having access to food um, in an affordable and sustainable manner. Self-sufficiency is really about being able to grow everything on your own without importing anything. And, you know, if you think of seeds and soil and 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 all of these, the enhancements that, that you, you need, the LED lights, et cetera, it really becomes difficult when you talk about self-sufficiency. I do believe we're still quite away from self-sufficiency, but of course, food security, um, we've really taken huge steps on that and we're, we're ranked um, uh, 21 now uh, and we're, we're aiming for number one by 2050. And if I look at some of the ag tech companies that are there now in the UAE, we've managed to uh, adopt and adapt technologies and are now actually exporting this technology to other countries who have similar uh, environments um, uh, like, like we do. And aim for c Hadley is really all about this sharing knowledge and um, because time is run running out, uh, where the uh, UN uh, SDG goals are just seven years away. So there's lots to do uh, that we have to share and we have to help each other. Uh, in order to achieve those goals. There's been a lot of controversy, as you know, over the last several months about the fact that the UAE is hosting COP28. Are you worried at all that politics is going to get in the way of progress at this summit? Um, we all know that the COP28 or the climate summit is very politicized, but I do believe, Hadley, that um, we as the UAE have really shown to the world that we are bridge builders. We have um, great connections to many countries around the world. And I believe we are now in a situation to say, we can make this COP a COP for all, and we can make this COP a COP of action. And we do believe that food systems is gonna have a uh, center stage, of course. And I really believe that if there's anyone that can make a difference, it is us. And um, it's really that the time is ticking. We, we don't have, uh, as you know, we're all trying to keep the 1.5 degrees alive. We have to put all the efforts in, in all the different sectors, including food systems, to make sure that uh, we're on track.